I'm Tana Castro, and this is the History Quiz. This item is a replica of an original device that was developed in 1951. It was the first electronic apparatus to be surgically implanted inside a human body. What do you think it is? Uh, what does that go in the body? I have no idea. It looks like a memory chip of some sort made back in the days, and there's two of them, and I don't know. It's an artificial liver. I'm going to be honest, those look like shell casings. <laughs> I think it's a human tracker. <laughs> Like a GPS system. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Looks like huevos rancheros to me on the right hand side there, but if it's something that gets put inside of it, huevos rancheros actually is pretty good. I like it inside of me. But that thing, I'm guessing it's a hearing aid. A hearing aid? Maybe? Maybe a pacemaker or a knee replacement thingy. <laughs> a pacemaker. I think it's a pacemaker too. I think it's an ear. <laughs> the correct answer is the pacemaker. Joining us now from the Tech Museum is Bridget Rigby. Bridget, tell us a little bit about the invention. Well, uh, Wilson Greatbotch, the inventor of this device, actually stumbled upon it. And it was a fascinating story. He was uh, looking to design an oscillator that would record heart sounds. And he installed one of the resistors with the wrong resistance and found that it emitted an electrical pulse, which he realized he could use to regulate the human heart. Now, who was the first patient? The first patient was actually a dog. He collaborated with a surgeon, and they wanted to try it out on an animal first. So, Bridget, tell me how the medical community responded to this invention. Well, at first, he pitched this idea to his company, and they were very hesitant to back his idea. So he went out on his own, just as a typical Silicon Valley innovator, went to his backyard garage and tinkered around until he came up with 50 different versions of this pacemaker, and ultimately went on to launch the most successful medical device company in the world, and really improved and saved the lives of millions. Bridget, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Tana Castro, and that's the History Quiz.